We're at GDC catching up with Halfbreak to learn a little bit about the next game that's coming out from Halfbreak. Of course, we know you from Fruit Ninja, from Jetpack Joyride. Dan the Man is something a little bit different from you guys. Uh, care to explain? Sure. Um, this is uh, our move towards more um, complex and, and uh, deeper experiences on mobile. Uh, we felt the time was right to come out with something that had a lot more depth in it. And we're bringing the best of, uh, best of uh, arcade to mobile, so that's Dan the Man for you. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Dan the Man, can you tell us about the sort of the background of it and, and sort of where you came into the picture? Uh, sure, uh, Dan the Man existed as a web series um, a couple of years back, probably a bit more than that. Um, there was an episode one, which, which was really cool. Um, you can get that on YouTube right now. Um, and uh, our CEO loved, loved that web series so much that he commissioned a whole bunch more. So there's seven of them out there now and you can get them all on the website. So danthemangame.com. Mm. But the idea is that there's seven web series and the eighth is a playable game of the web series. And there will be another web, like the episode eight will come out after the game comes out. But this is allowing you to play the actual story. But it's also tied into sort of the greater half break narrative, if you will. Can you can you explain how that sort of comes together? All right, as a marketing guy, this is this is my favorite part. So um, the the game supposedly existed in the '80s as an arcade machine, um, and that's in that's going to be in our promotional posters and, and art. And the idea is that the game's greatest fan, Barry Steak Fries, made famous by Jetpack Joyride. Mm. Uh, loved the game so much that he got his time machine, went back into the '80s yanked it and brought it back to now. And now it exists on the uh, arcade machines of now, which is the mobile. And uh, that also explains why he's in the game, because he inserted himself into it, pretty much. Of course he did. He <laughs> did. He's got his own fighting style. He's, in, he's a purchasable character in the game. But this, this game is allowing us to do a lot of that. So you've got uh, Dan, as well as jo Josie, who, is, who, who Dan is supposed to rescue. Mm. But you can play as Josie from the beginning and rescue Dan instead. So. There's a lot going on in there in that sense, but the idea is that all these characters will become a deep part of the experience um, over time, including customizable characters. So you're in, in soft launch now. What, what's, the, what's the roadmap with this game? So soft launch, um, we're trying to gauge as much data as possible in terms of seeing what the players are, uh, are liking and you know what more they want. So we're very open to user feedback in the soft launch period. We're hoping to have the game released sometime towards the end of quarter two, so we're looking at June and July. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, we're hoping to have the deeper arena modes in and balanced by then and ready to go. Because mm. it is a platformer, but can you, can you explain what the arena mode means and what that is? So the arena modes are uh, procedurally generated arenas where you keep facing waves of enemies. And the idea is that you try and use your combos and your skill set to, to you know, beat these enemies and, and progress, basically. Uses an energy system, uh, but it's also, like I mentioned, you, you upgrade your player as you go. So you can pick up new skills, new combos, new finishing moves and things like that. So it's quite exciting because uh, the guys, the guys um, in the studio are looking to build in about 100 or more arenas into this. And you can challenge your mates to go, can you beat my score, but can you also beat my skill score? Can you get three stars? All of that. So it's going to be good fun playing that. Sounds cool. Uh, if you will, uh, you, you mentioned before we started this interview that this is sort of a new direction for, for Halfbreak. Where do you see Halfbreak moving in the future and, and will you continue to su support the games that you've had out before? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, Halfbreak is well known for Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Joyride, which are our core brands. But it, this is signaling like an evolution towards more deeper and meaningful uh, uh, experiences that you can, you can play for a longer period of time. Having, having said that, I mean, Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Jarrett are still, uh, we've got huge DAUs on them. There's still people playing it. But we want to add more to it because we feel the mobile platform has matured to a point where you can take these experiences and make them a lot deeper. Um, single player campaigns, multiplayer campaigns, community challenges, all that sort of stuff that you didn't see in the first generation or so the first generation of uh, mobile games is now, you know, starting to come through. and. And in Halfbrick's sense, Halfbrick started 15 years ago. 
they started making handhelds and console games and this is almost a signal of uh, you know it's uh, it's coming full circle but also an evolution of sorts so I'm very excited internally everyone is very very excited about the direction we're going right. uh, what sort of mon monetization plans do you have for this game so at the moment we're looking at a couple of options there's incentivized ads which are proving fairly popular in the um, soft launch um, split testing but we also have in-app purchases around uh, well so the arena mode and we're looking to add a tower mode later which uh, which will be very PvP focused asynchronous initially and then PvP later um, we're looking at in-app purchases to upgrade your characters by um, you know uh, by costumes and and power sets and power moves and things like that so there's a there's a lot of options we're looking at right now initially we had um, the incentivized ads and a premium experience which allows you to shut off all the ads mm -hmm. and those both have, have proven to be fairly popular in so and so far but there's a lot of tweaking yet to be done. Thank you so much for your time. Right. Thanks for having me.